So guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about angular reactive form. So react form has form control, form array, and form group. What are these guys? So this input box is a form control. It has just a string value. A form control can also be a drop down menu with multiple choices, and then the form control will hold an array of strings. So the form control is the smallest unit, a singleton value. It has a, usually has a name if it's under a form group. Yeah. Now the form group is a collection of abstract controls, and you can access its children by name. So what is a form group? A form group can have like form controls, like street address and city. It can have another form group as its child. It can have a form array as its child. Form control, form group, and form array, they're all abstract controls. So the form group is a collection of abstract controls that can be accessed by name. And a form array is very similar to form group, except that it's a collection of abstract controls accessed by index, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So its children do not have names. Instead, they have index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and they can be looped through. So it implements an iterator, just like an array. So array and group, of course, they can be nested. So a form array can have a child that is a form group, which in turn have another form array as a child, another form group as a child. So these can be hierarchic. You can nest them as many levels as you want. Now that's basically what they are. Let's look at the code. The code here, we have a form group at the top level called example form. And when you create a form group, form control, or form array, there are two ways you can do it. You can use this dot fb, which is the form builder with a group, and you type out the stuff, the controls, the group, child group, and an array. You can also use the constructors of these like form control, form group, and form array with a new keyword. Like here, example form equals this dot fb dot group with an empty object. You can also type example form equals new form group and this syntax. So either way works. I strongly recommend that you use this form builder because it makes your syntax a lot simpler. Yeah, the, the form builder is definitely very helpful to in reducing the complexity of the syntax. Now let's look at form control first. As I mentioned, form control is the simplest. Uh, let's grab this guy. And you can see here, this form control has called name, another form control called nationality. If we lock this form control name, I locked three things. The first, uh, the form control name itself. So let's look at the source code. Lock name. The first thing is this name. I created a lot of getters in my code. For example, get name returns this example form dot get name. So this these getters make my code a lot shorter. It's like shortcut, so you do not have to type all this crap all over again. And also, as I mentioned, form form group, this example form, its child can be a form control, can be a form array, or another form group. So I use form control, this type cast, to let Angular know that this property name is actually a control. It's not a group, it's not an array. So that you do not receive those warnings or error messages. When you know more than TypeScript, tell TypeScript what this thing is. Yeah, so type cast. So here I console locked this dot name, and you can see there's a huge chunk of stuff being logged out. All these guys. The ones we are interested in is, for example, the name, which is Claire. The value, yeah, the value property is important. Another guy is the parent property. So you can see whose parent it is. Obviously, the parent of this guy is the form itself. The parent of the name property is this example form. So from a form control, you can get its parent, you can get its value, you can get whether it's uh, locked, like it's a it cannot be edited, it's disabled, uh, or a whole bunch of other stuff. And the next thing I lock to the console is value property, which just uh, if you look at the code, it's just the value, yeah. This name dot value. Of course, there's a risk that this name property does not exist, so I use the question mark. Otherwise, 
the TypeScript will give a warning. So you can lock any property from for that uh, name from control. So here you can see the the value is clear. Here I just lock the value, which is clear. Yeah. So you can lock whatever. The third thing is I locked dot parent. The dot parent, as I mentioned, is, is the example form form group. So it has a huge, huge chunk of stuff under which there is controls. This controls has that name guy. You can name, family, address. Address itself is a form group. Yeah, the family is a form array, and name is a form control. And so, it you can lock its parent as well. So basically, that's the form control. Yeah, it has value property. It has parent property. Um, it has a bunch of other stuff. That's clear console for now. So next, let's talk about form group. A form group is more complex than a form control. It has form controls, form groups, and form arrays as its children. So here, let's look at this very simple form group. It's called address. It has only two form controls. One is called street address. One is called city. When you access a property of a form group, you can use different syntax. So here you can see I can use this example form dot get function with the name of that child. You can get name, get nationality. Another option is to use this example form dot controls dot address. So you can use dot controls dot name is equivalent to this example form dot get name. Both syntax work equivalently. Here I specifically run a test. So this address equals this example dot get address. So this address, of course, is the getter, which I used here. This example form dot controls dot address. So this example dot address, you use controls dot address is is equivalent to this get function. There's no difference, so you can use either syntax. So now let's take a look at the form group. So. This is form group. The form group has two form controls called a street address and city. If you lock this guy, let's let's say 52 Main Street, city is say Lexington. It's Massachusetts town called Lexington. So I locked four different things. The first is the form group itself. It's a huge chunk of data. Under that group, there are controls, and one of the controls called a city. The other controls called a street address. So the form group. Has a whole bunch of stuff. It also has a parent, which the parent of this form address form group is the、uh, example form group. The next thing I locked is the controls. If you lock form group controls, let me show the code. So address controls. The first thing I locked is address itself. The next is a single property called controls. This form group's controls will hold those name value pairs. So street address and city. The next thing I locked is to show the equivalence. Yeah, both syntax are equivalent. This dot example form dot controls dot address is equal to this example form dot get address. There's no difference. So you can see the third thing it printed true. The last guy is actually show the values. You can get the value of a form group or a form control or form array for a. Value of the form control we already showed it's just a string. For a form group, its value is just the name value pairs. So here the value is like an object. Street address fifty two Main Street, City Lexington. When you submit a form group, submit a form, you will want to access its value, name value pairs, all these guys, and do some manipulation and save them to a database or do something else. So now the form group we know it has, a, it could have a parent. It has controls which hold an, a collection of its child controls, or like the children can be a form control, form array, or form group. Yeah, and the value field holds the name values. It's like just number two, the controls, except that you extract all the values from the controls and hold this name values instead of name controls. Okay, so that's about form group. So finally, let's talk about form array. As I mentioned, form array is just a form group, except that 
the members do not have a name they use indices so this form array has two form controls the first one is a blank string and the second one is also blank string and these two syntax are equivalent as i mentioned you can use the form builder or you can use this constructor new form control so these two guys are equivalent so we have two form controls and they have no name they're just two blank strings and when we look at this template uh, you can see form array is a collection of abstract controls by index index so we have claire and sue and if we log these guys let's clear the log console when we log this form array i logged three things the first i just show the form array so this form array is called family uh, this form array has a huge chunk of stuff one of them is called controls and the controls has two form controls and these two form controls have no name it just have indices zero one starting from zero like any array the second thing i, I locked in the console is its uh controls its controls is just a two just an array of form controls so and just like form group the third thing i this way to console is the value so the value is just clear sue it's a array of values so controls is an array of form controls and abstract controls and the value is just an array of values whatever is held in those controls so that's about form array now let's go to the template and take a look at the code in the template the first thing you notice is that there's a form tag that's the big form the stuff you want to submit all together to a database and you can use either syntax form group equals example form or if that form group has a name you can use form group name without square bracket equals something so either way works here the example form has no name it's just the form group the at top level so this guy example form it has no name so you have to use this form group square bracket uh, to evaluate the example form which returns a form group yeah so under the example form the first two fields are the name and nationality here so these two guys name nationality they all form controls because these guys are nested within this form group you can just use uh, form control name string name without using the square bracket format uh, so these are the two form controls the next element is a child form group which is called address so here the child address group has just two controls street address and city so how do we render them we will first create a division called form group name equals address of course you can use the square bracket just like this guy form group equals uh, example form dot get uh, address or example form dot controls dot address doesn't matter so either way here i used the form group name syntax which is simpler yeah equals address and then just repeat rinse and repeat you write out this street address and city just like you did here for the parent level so that's a child form group and here is the third element is a form array it has only two empty strings it's called a family this array is called a family so for the family array i just use division uh, div ng4 let f of family controls so you loop through the controls remember for a form array i just mentioned its children have no name they are in an array and that array implements obviously iterator so you can loop through it so family.controls return that array and you can just loop through the array and you can also use index as i if you want to use the index so here i show family member index i plus one because the index starts with zero i do not want to display zero so here i display family member one family member two i don't want to display family member zero and one yeah okay so here you can see we got this guy input field form control equals here i use dollar any um, function because a form array can have children that is another form array another form group or a form control here the input tag expects a form control so i'm telling this uh this input tag that trust me the member of this form array is actually a form control it's not a form array or form group you can use that directly inside this input tag so this this at any function of course you can also 
uh, like here, I have a lot of typecast. If you do typecast in your component, you do not have to use the daughter any function. Yeah. So basically, you're telling TypeScript, trust me, this is a form control, this is a form array, so those functions make sense. So the only thing here about form arrays is that you use a loop. You loop through all the controls and display them. Um, here is the submit button. So when you type the sub click on the submit button for the whole example form, you will want to execute some code to save the data, the values to a database, or, or manipulate the data in some way, or save it to a to an object. So that's pretty much about uh, reactive forms. Before I end this video, I want to just reiterate: uh, so form control, form group, and form array—they are all abstract controls. And they serve different purposes. They implement different things. So you may want to use typecast in your code, or dollar any function. So the form control just holds a value, and form group holds a collection of named abstract controls. Um, and form array holds an array of abstract controls. They have no name, but they are indexed by zero, one, two, three, four, and you can loop through them because a form array implements iterator. So the abstract control may have a parent, like dot parent property, and they also have value, dot value. In the template, you can assign abstract control either by name using the string, or you can use the square bracket to assign the control or group or array itself. You can use getters and typecast in your component to make your code more readable. Otherwise, you have to write a huge chain of stuff like. This example form dot get blah blah dot value dot controls whatever. So if you create some named values, you will be able to access them directly without the long chain. Yeah. Also use form builder to simplify the syntax. You can use constructor like a new form group, new form control, new form array, but form builder is much easier. Also remember, when you're submitting, you may want to do something to your data. In your form, you may have a dollar field, which is one the dollar symbol one, comma three zeros, comma three zeros. You may want to do some manipulation to convert that dollar string to a number. Yeah. So when you submit it, usually you would do some data manipulation before saving them to a database or something. That's the video for today. Thank you.